Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and make sure that your post notification bells are turned on so you know every single time that I post. Today I will be tapping into Virgo messages. If you are a Virgo or have a Virgo placement, then tune in. If you are interested in a exclusive reading, please be sure to click the join button as, you know, that's another way you can help out the channel. Now, let's tap in. Message for Virgo. We have doubt. Doubt is in reverse. I feel like you're very sure of something because you release the need to know the answers. You felt like the answers are coming to you, okay? I feel like this will roll by your desk. Whatever this, this information leads to, it's going to roll by your desk without you even uh, searching for the answer here, okay? There's some sort of imbalance to an accidental... Um, it's like somebody's coughing up some sort of like confession for something or maybe somebody is in some sort of debt or something emotional is taking place or something like that. I feel like somebody here may have felt like they were backed in a corner or if they don't get somebody to help them or if this is about you, it's like you feel like it, it just came up. It was a slip of the tongue. Yeah. Let's see here. Message for Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know currently at this time? Okay, so we have Destiny, number 10. And we have Awareness. There's some sort of knowledge or understanding to something, something that makes sense here. I feel like you know that it's not your time. You know that there's some sort of aura or the, it's like you have your spiritual team with you mentally. It's like you're becoming more aware of something. It's like the knowledge that you have, you know it doesn't align with the timing of something or maybe this is not something that you're supposed to be a part of, okay? Somebody here is in a negative space. Somebody is aware that there's something negative. There's somebody that may try to have the intention to do something that doesn't align with what spirit wants for you, okay? So you may have to hold back on making moves. This is your lack of awareness telling you this, your intuition, your sacral chakra, how you feel, okay? Maybe you need to go back to the drawing board and find out more. Maybe you're gaining wisdom or something like that. Hmm. Spirit is telling me to pull another one. We have emotional withdrawal. You're no longer in this um, lack of sacral energy. It's like you know exactly who it is that you are. Your crown chakra is enabled. It's stamped of approval for something here. You are not allowing... Whatever it is or however you felt or somebody feels to hinder you from moving forward, okay? Even though something may hurt you, it's like you're not allowing your life to go downhill. You have spiritual strength, okay? This is giving me eight of swords energy in reverse. You're climbing out of something, whether you had control over it or not. I feel like you're taking ownership for your emotions. You're not letting them overwhelm you. Somebody could be seeing uh, October 8th or August 10th. I'm also seeing September 10th or September 8th. Take it as it resonates. There's somebody here that you are no longer missing. Somebody wasn't a part of your life or doesn't need to be a part of this journey that you're supposed to be walking on. You're doing something alone, okay? With this bow, there's some sort of travel or something is left for you. Somebody here could have been left a boat, okay? 
We have uh, money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall. Something is coming in for you that you didn't know about, okay? And I feel like maybe it wasn't the right time for you to know some sort of information that you were dependent on to get to this point where you know you're receiving something. We have wish will not be granted. Broken wishbone. You will be playing a different role. I want to know why this broken wishbone is here. Why is this broken wishbone here? What is supposed to be not granted? Wish will not be granted. Maybe somebody was trying to make sure that this wasn't a part of your destiny. Two of Wands. Two of Wands talks about like you contemplating uh, something happening overseas. I feel like you may be um, trying to figure things out. You may want to go somewhere. There is um, travel or something like that. Hmm. The magician is in the middle of the deck to the Knight of Cups at the bottom. So Taurus, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Knight of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like somebody is supposed to use some sort of knowledge or um, spiritual work to get you to move past something. Somebody wanted you to move past something so that you wouldn't end up playing a different role here to get to this boat energy. Somebody, somebody here is trying to stop you or betray you so that you will have hardships getting to this boat energy. This is crazy. Hmm. But whatever it is that this person thinks that they're doing, it's not going to work. There is an important revelation of how you are supposed to uh, move to get to this this money. Somebody could even stumble upon this information by accident. So this was withheld from somebody. Okay, secrets are coming out. The moon in reverse to the four of swords in reverse. You weren't supposed to get this information to receive this boat energy, but you are. Somebody could be on their deathbed telling you that there's some money that's being left for you. This could also be someone that may have been told to keep their distance from you so that it wouldn't be easy for you to find this information out, but you still ended up finding it out anyway. What's the message? might be getting some sort of property of some kind of vehicle, a boat, money, an inheritance, or some something that will start you off or start you up. We have stagnant, stuck, dead end, frozen. Daydreaming is significant, head in the clouds, delusion, hopes and dreams, shattered. Somebody here could be going through a really hard time. Or a lot of things that may have happened thus far may have ended in, you know, delusion, a lot of um, pipe dreams, failures, nightmares, sleepless nights, and feeling broken. This is how somebody wants you here. I'm going to get at least two more. Drowning over your head, overextended, rock bottom. I'm getting a wild card as well. We have soulmate. Somebody here could be using the fact that they're going through a hard time and wanting you to, wanting that to be projected to you to cling on to whatever it is that you're able to receive, which is this boat, this hat, this different role that you're going to be playing. Somebody here wants to be complied into something that you're about to receive. Okay? We have established at the bottom of the deck. So there is some level of security being settled and wealthy okay and there's a psychopath ex or somebody that you may have had a dead relationship with for quite some time that may want to mimic somewhat of a soulmate or somebody that's a part of your soul tribe or wants to be back together with you or in your circle in order to have some sort of establishment there's a lot of projection and chaos 
just to have a little bit of something. But this person has burnt a lot of bridges with you and that's why you will not consider working with this person or people. These could even be your family members or people that were like family to you. Okay, so there's a lot of things that you may have shut off in your life or somebody here might not have access to somewhere that y'all both used to be at. Hmm. What's the message? If somebody here that you've dated is coming back around, they're coming back around to uh, stagnate your life and to make sure that you um, have failures. So don't be so quick to... Uh, have someone re-enter into your into your circle, okay? Somebody needs to surrender to their past or surrender to the things that they know is going on and that they see firsthand. The color gray could be significant. Somebody's aura color is gray, okay? It's like a lighter shade and um, it kind of looks like a mauve gray color. Somebody needs to look up the, the ore colored gray and what that means. Somebody here may be going through spiritual warfare. I feel like somebody needs to stop pretending that it's not happening. Like somebody's not trying to attack you all because you do not um, base your life around faith, religion, or something like that. Or you don't, whatever, right? But you do believe in something. I feel like um, what's hard for a person to really much so take on is knowing something's happening, but if you feel you cannot bear what's going on, you act like it's not happening. That's what I'm picking up here. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo currently at this time. Okay, so overall I'm seeing here that you're not allowing somebody to physically tempt you, especially if it's a forbidden energy. If, it's, if this is not something that is like pulling on your heartstrings, you're not missing this individual. It's the other way around. Somebody here could be missing you and trying to direct you to miss them so that they have an, a way in. But I feel like you know that this is unstable, that you know that this is toxic, this is not somebody that you should trust, and it's not going to bring any type of stability to your life, okay? Somebody here holds a karmic placement in your life. This person will allow you to learn a whole bunch of lessons if you allow them to come back. But I feel like somebody no longer wants to be broken up or separated from you or you may not want this for you and this person. Okay. We have contemplation in reverse. Somebody here is not contemplating about anything other than making their life stabilized. Okay. You've blocked somebody telepathically. They can't communicate with you telepathically unless they come towards you or try to at least, I feel like you're stuck on your soul's purpose. Somebody may not be paying attention to their dreams or even allowing spirit to send you messages, okay? Somebody here could be blocked, okay? Somebody here is being blocked from picking up what their, uh, their spiritual guides are trying to tell them, okay? Somebody here also may not be granted with some sort of blessing or something like that. Somebody's trying to take away your right to procreate or to have fertile energy to receive blessings here because you're not giving them any attention. Somebody here is very vile and wicked. This is crazy. Let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Message for Virgo. Okay, so it looks like somebody's vibrating at a lower level 
somebody here is not activated within activated within their higher self. Sorry, y'all. Somebody could even be trying to stop you from what you're what you're meaning to say so that the messages don't become clear. Okay? There is no reason or time for a return or a rebirth. Something is not going to change for the better. It's only going to set somebody back. And somebody's trying to plant a seed where they see fit to allow you not to be into your highest level or your higher realm. For you to be low vibrational for this person to get a chance to plant a seed to bring something to grow. Okay? But something will be thrown out or discarded from, from growth. I'm telling you. Look at this. Something here will not fertilize. Whatever it is that this person is trying to plant something for, and somebody's going to be embarrassed that they even tried. Okay? That's crazy. Somebody's real petty. feels about you, what you might need to know, what's the message, all right, it says, will I see you again, I don't want to be the reason you cry, seeing you makes my day, and I have too many uncertainties, don't want to give you false promises. At the bottom of the deck, it says, my love to you is unconditional and genuine. It says, is there a second chance? Somebody thinks that they're going to get you to hold on to them, which you're, you're stronger than this person, spiritually, physically, emotionally. It's like you may lose yourself, but you know how to get right back on the train. You can't keep a good person down Okay, when it comes to Virgo, we do everything that we can to, to stay on the right tracks, even though we get lost sometimes. Okay, we're not perfect, but compared to a lot of the other signs, because we know how to be in hermit mode, we know how to uh, set ourselves straight. That's one thing with us. Okay, we know how to be alone. So, like, if a motherfucker say, yo, I'm done with you right now. We may be down and out for a little while, but we know how to train ourselves back into hermit mode. We don't really need too much motherfuckers around us. At least I don't. Okay? I have two placements of Virgo in my chart. It would be nice to have people around, but if it's just somebody that's taking up space, maybe we don't need it. Let's go into the reading real quick. Message. What's the message for Virgo? We have the Knight of Wands. This is someone that's in and out, comes around when they want to or when they have a problem. This is somebody that finds you gorgeous um, or beautiful, handsome. This could be somebody that works where you have to wear a uniform. This could be a police officer or um, somebody of the legal team or something like that. I'm also getting like park ranger or something like that here. Hmm. Or somebody could be a part of um, construction building or something like that hmm. somebody's ready to make an executive decision or somebody wants to work well with you there could be some sort of like thing going on between somebody that you work with and you but I feel like this is not gonna last for long I feel like somebody could be born 1988 okay or I'm getting August 8th. 
there is a portal day on August 8th. Okay? Or something could have happened August 8th here. Hmm. Somebody is trying to figure out something about your family, your finances, your lack of stability. Somebody here is trying to find out what your weaknesses are. Okay? Somebody's trying to figure out the things that you're struggling with to use that to their best advantage. Okay? Somebody here wants to collaborate you. Somebody wants to collaborate with you and I feel like they're going to try to flirt with you to get close to you. Okay? Look. Page of Swords energy. The Fool card. Somebody's going to get you to second guess taking a step into the unknown or doing something risky or being adventurous. Somebody here wants you to be very reserved about the choices that you make because they want you to fall in line with something that is not going to be for you to have. Okay, they want you to lack something that's destined for you. This is crazy. Can we clarify the Knight of Wands? What is the intentions of this Knight of Wands for Virgo? Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here wants a cut of something. Anything that is um, leading towards you, they want to uh, love bomb you, act like they care. They want to do go above and beyond just to stay out of, you know, the dark. Okay, they want to come into the light. They're having financial losses where they see that you are somebody that they should cling to or learn from. Okay, this could have been somebody that is your ex or your, your ex-friend, somebody you used to be friends with. Somebody here from your recent past or that you have a past life connection to or stop talking to, this person is going to end up coming back around to become the star or to fulfill some sort of hope or direction in their life here. But some, as soon as they get what they want, somebody is going to release themselves from some sort of team effort because they've only did something out of envy, okay? This is just what it is. And this is what they're after, this Ace of Pentacles. This prosperity, this security that they don't have, that they're pretending that they do, or that they've always had it. The number one could be significant. What's this three of pentacles? This is like work, effort, collaborating, getting together. Um, this could be a project or something like that. Three of pentacles, it's like work, effort, getting somewhere. Bouncing ideas off of each other. Okay? Tell me more. Yeah. I feel like some type of work that's being done, whether it's a part of a business or um, a project or something like that, somebody is getting some sort of luck, fortune, or um, a cycle change from something. Somebody's about to get paid off of a job that they were they're going to do with you or that they want to take on with you. Somebody feels like they'll benefit from being in your corner or being on your team or something like that. I'm telling you, somebody feels like you harbor endless choices, opportunities for their lack of, of change that they have in their life. They feel like A, A plus B equals C, right? They want to get to some sort of point, right? That's what I'm picking up on. see somebody here I feel like somebody's phone needs to be charged somebody's asking for a charger or something that's compatible to get a charger okay I just heard that somebody could be looking at the time has to do something in a time frame message for Virgo please what is it that we need to know somebody here is going to try to 
gets you to empathize with them, okay? Somebody's taking advantage of you and what you could help them with. Somebody here is going to act like they're losing sleep over you. They're even going to shed some sort of crocodile tears to make it believable. Somebody's going to say that they're sad or hurt, that they're no longer a part of your life in whatever way, shape, or form that they were in it. And a, and a lot of things are going to be replaying for them. That's their karma. Their karma is losing you. Their karma is not doing right by you. Their karma is not wanting to be a team, but rather wanting to get something out of having contact with you okay this is a dirty offer spirit is saying that anything that's pertaining to working together or to get something do not allow them to have it tell them you, you're taking on too much and you don't have time for anybody to shadow you right now because somebody knows of your spiritual gifts or aware that you get things through being an alchemist that you are the chosen one I feel like there, somebody knows of a cycle that's closing out with them, and they're going to try their best efforts to um, extract a lot of information or to get you to um, speak on something, but spirit is saying move in silence, okay? Don't say shit. Somebody's struggling to tell you that they have a love child or that they've been dealing with a person here. Yeah. Because they've been drinking. Somebody here could have got pregnant being drunk and didn't even realize until uh, nine months later or a couple months uh, before somebody gave birth or something like that. This is crazy. Let's see here. So we do have performers. Somebody here is unable to perform more. If you bought tickets for um, your favorite rapper or singer or something like that, something will be canceled. It's going to be a cancellation. Or maybe if you are supposed to be booked to perform and you're a part of the industry or you're trying to get into it, I feel like something here will not go forward. Okay. I do see that something may become too much. Okay, somebody's career is going down the, the drain or something here is pointless, whatever this is. Let's see. Message for Virgo. Somebody here will be unable to pr perform. I feel like somebody's hiding some sort of hidden truth from themselves or others. I feel like it's because of your lack of desire for something. Somebody may not even want to do something anymore. Somebody won't be able to perform because they're getting fired. It's the end of the line for somebody. Somebody's career is done. Okay? And I feel like now because a person doesn't have all the answers, they're jumping to conclusions rather than taking up what spirit is trying to give them somebody won't have the time of day to celebrate i'm getting something about a wristband or something somebody's wristband is getting cut off or somebody here is no longer allowed to access certain places somebody has to give back some sort of card to access certain places here in a facility or something like that that's crazy What's the message? Somebody is unbothered and unfettered due to not giving a fuck. Okay? I don't feel like this bothers a person that they're being demoted or undervalued. It just shows what, what a person's character is or what type of associations that you've been dealing with. I feel like this is going to allow you to cut ties with somebody to move on or somebody's cutting ties with their ex to move on with you because they realize that they um, benefit from you rather than being with somebody that they don't benefit or um, collaborate well with anymore. Somebody is more focused on their looks because there's nothing going on upstairs. Somebody's an airhead and they're thinking and strategizing on their return.
tell me more messages for Virgo. Okay, so there's something that's going on when it comes to your home, your money, um, stocks, bonds, or something like that. Something's going on with a person's uh, business. Somebody could be a real estate agent or somebody here is looking for a home. Something here is very neutral. I don't know if it's something that you're investing in, your wealth, or some something that you're working on pertaining to homes. Maybe you're helping stage homes. Somebody stages homes to get uh, people to buy or whatever the case may be. I don't know what this is. Tell me more about this um, real estate in the cross position. The number 70 could be significant. Somebody here could be so close to buying a home, but um, it, it, there's another person that may want it just as bad as you do that is trying to make sure that you don't end up closing on this home. We have confinement. Somebody could be given a few days to get their stuff together. We have confinement in reverse. Somebody has to get out of a home or um, pick up their things or something like that. I feel like somebody here is not your enemy. Somebody's going to help you out in a situation that you may be having when it comes to your lack of stability or um, coming close to losing something or not having anywhere to go. We have protest. Also, number 51, I feel like something is very adequate. I feel like um, you not saying anything might have hurt you a lot more, sorry, a lot more than taking time to um, help put yourself on the right track to um, be sufficient in some way, okay? You're, everything that you thought was a loss will be a gain or you will be regaining. I feel like somebody here is going to end up creating a loophole for themselves where they are deemed as, you know, very wicked, devilish, okay? Whoever this boss is or somebody that um, holds the title of an authority figure or that makes executive decisions, they're going to try to sacrifice themselves to allow you to be at a, at a loss of something or whatever this is. Somebody here got in their position because they um, made some sort of sacrifice, okay? And now they're trying to sacrifice you pertaining to your wealth or your stability, okay, to have more or to put more people on. I feel like what's, what's one person out of the picture versus a lot more people that you could train to be just like me? You know what I'm saying? So somebody here is just a wicked individual. 56, 37, and 51, again, could be significant, okay? These could be dates, ages, um, certain timings, etc. I'm also picking up the numbers 11, 10, and 6. I don't know who that's for. Or what that means, only you will know. Okay, so what is going to come true for you is everybody that thought it was okay to disrupt something that God wanted to happen for you. I'm telling you, there's going to be a rude awakening for a lot of people. Okay? Behind the scenes. See, Holy Spirit, what's the message? What do we need to know currently at this time? Message for Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, or coming out, we have good gentlemen in reverse, unexpected uh, money. So the same money that they tried to hold back or delay from you is, it's like you're getting twice that money. You're going to be coming into twice that money here, I'm telling you. Whoever this bad gentleman was that was holding your money back from you, it's like everything that you were, have hoped or dreamed of is coming back around your way. Somebody was stupid enough to do this here and just gave you 
the path to blessings. It's like you're gonna instead of it raining men, you're gonna be raining money, abundance, prosperity, power. And not because of the money, it's because you stood ten toes on business. Okay? You're going to end up taking somebody to court. Or somebody here is going to accompany you in court. I feel like whatever trap somebody set for you, like I said earlier, they're going to pay for it. They're going to pay for it. Judgment. Chapter. And not because I said so, it's God's word. I didn't say it, God did. Karma is coming back around for people that thought they, they could entrap you. They thought they didn't have no consequence or they wouldn't get caught. Somebody's going to put themselves through uh, having a loophole and fuck themselves. Okay, so it looks like a karmic wants to have the right to sit with you or to discuss something with you and they don't. They don't have no jurisdiction to come near you. Somebody here may have the letter U in their name or their name starts with the letter U. You have savings, healer, and spiritualist. You are an extraordinary human being, so maybe you are um, being told this by somebody. We have a karmic father that encourages cheating here. I'm also seeing child care, daycare services, and superficial. So somebody here that may watch your child could give off this superficiality type of energy. Okay? Somebody here could have um, taken drugs or has a history of, of drug-related issues or whatever this is. I feel like it's because of somebody's brother or a supplier or something like that. Okay? Let's see here. What do we need to know? Okay, so we have maternal instinct and we have nosy. I'm also seeing here uh, a person here knows of your fake friend that's befriending other people that they don't even know too good because they all want to be a part of some sort of luxurious lifestyle that you have. There could be some types of mortgage fraud, okay? Criminals targeting banks, credit unions, and other other facilities to override the system to get a home, okay? We have recognition in career or business, flirty message. I told you this is coming in from this Knight of Wands. So be mindful, this has come out before in one of my reads from yesterday or the day before. We have intention. Somebody has pure intentions, but is trying to use this uh, flirty energy to get something or to get you to say um, yes to something, okay? We have you and P. We have up. Somebody's planning to set you up to get jumped to record this shit, so be very careful. This is not somebody that you should trust. Message for Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know? Okay, so there's some sort of good news that's coming in. And I feel like um, it's going to be on your records or in your file or something like that. We have a fatal attraction. Somebody here could be journaling or writing something down or keeping track of something here, okay? Somebody here could be getting a new pet or has multiple pets. We have video game. I see who's calling me from an unknown number. So I feel like somebody's playing games with your phone, okay? Somebody here speaks highly of you. It could be this Jezebel spirit or somebody here that speaks highly of you is a Jezebel spirit or something like that. We have fall. So somebody here could be learning sign language or somebody could become deaf here. We have unbothered. We also have stabbing. Identical twin. Somebody here that looks like you or is a doppelganger to somebody else. Um, 
you might not have known this or there's some something that's going on that's top secret okay somebody that is playing this doppelganger energy wants to attack you or you're attacking somebody take it as it resonates we have insufficient medical care or transportation somebody here is finding it difficult to go to their their appointments on time or to keep up with something okay anyway that's what i have here for your current messages hopefully it resonates if it does be sure to like comment and subscribe and as always stay blessed and I'll see you guys in the next one.